Okay, uh, this video is about how to measure and display things in Blender like uh, angles, surfaces and distances. Um, I'm mainly going to use uh, an add-on called Measure It, but not only. Uh, had, I just discovered the add-on, I had a problem to install it, um, even if it's really easy. Um, so I'm going to show it, so hopefully it's going to be useful for someone. So to search for the add-on, go for uh, Blender, Measure It is going to be on GitHub and this is the uh, address here. You want the latest version, in my case is uh, version 164. Um, you click on the version and it's a zip file and you want to have the zip file. So you click on the raw file and it's going to download the zip in our case. You go into Blender and um, you go for user preference, uh, add-ons, and install from file. Then you search for your zip file and you install from file. Don't forget to enable it when it's uh, installed. And uh, save user settings should be uh, fine. I can see the installation worked because uh, measure it just appeared in my T panel, tools panel, okay, measure it. Also, um, um, you will need the end panel property panel because at the end of it, at the bottom of it, you will see the different measures which appeared. And if you want to delete them, or if you want to customize the measures, um, you're going to use this part. So you need the two T and N parts available. Before um, showing the basic features I've understood from this add-on that I find really useful, but I'm not a super specialist of it, like a half an hour specialist, I'm going to show you very quickly the different um, things you already have as information about uh, distances and measures in Blender. So for this, you go directly into the um, scene panel and i'm using the metric system i don't want to use the blender units i want to use the metric systems and then meters appears here and the squares here they are meters also in the end panel <coughs> so property panel whatever the object you have um, you've got in object mode you've got dimensions which uh, indicates the size in X, Y, Z, like a virtual box around your, uh, your object. So that's already an information for me. But if you go into edition mode, um, you can have more information which can be useful. For example, one thing I often want to know is, is the uh, length of, uh, of an edge. So I'm going to select this edge. Okay, I like to know exactly what it is. Um, you go into uh, mesh display edge info length so every time you select here um, an edge um, is going to be to appear okay something uh, useful too is go for face info angles even area if you want to know the area you can also do it so for example if I go for here I've got a ton of information here I've got the length here of each edges, I've got the surface I'm selecting. Um, okay, I can do that. And I've got the angles, so I know exactly precisely uh, uh, where I am. But only if you select it, and it's not for really uh, displaying, right? Um, the um, measure it is going to uh, allow you to customize all this much more and allow you to display it um, properly. Okay, I'm going to deactivate this. Okay. And now we're going to look at the, um, the measure it. Uh, I'm going to uh, take this cube we already have. Um, I'm going to uh, give you an example of measures uh, simply by selecting uh, age here. <coughs> First, let's go to measure it panel to see how it's structured. The um, first section is about here is about the kind of measures you want to do. Okay segment, angles, arc, area, we're going to look at some of them. You've got a basic configuration here. So by default, the color will be this and you can have text by default and change some little things here by default. 
also you've kind of kind of rendering option which means that you can uh, create uh, pictures that you can use to uh, show all of this okay uh, let's try it <clears throat> i've selected an age and i want to uh, show a segment so i click on segment and then nothing appears uh, but i saw something moving in the property panel at the end i can see that measure it just appeared tell me that we did something on the cube and <clears throat> that i've got a measure here uh, okay so to show the measure don't forget to click on the show button here okay just appeared here um, there's a cool button here you can also display measure measures for all objects not only selected if you uh, push this uh, button okay what is interesting in, in uh, measure it is you can really now uh, customize everything for example i like to add an information this is about i don't know about the roof and i want to show the text and i can do that right they appeared here um, i can also customize the color uh, obviously i like blue um, and you can also really go into deep configuration by clicking here and when i say deep configuration it's really a lot of options here um, like um, you can work on the distance here okay you can work on the um, font size you can work on the x and y uh, offset you can work on the aspect of the beginning and end of the segment for example i like to have a triangle uh, on one end and i like to have a t-shape on the other end um, you can even work on the size of your of your endings here okay um, you can also affect this to a group if you affect this to a group you're going to have a a group information for example if i affect this to j i can say that j um, j elements have, have got this measuring but it, it adds all the j elements so you can do some sums very easily this way okay i'm not going to do it um, you can uh, play with the thickness okay and then here this means that <coughs> he's measuring uh, in xyz right so this is normal measuring but you could decide oh i don't want to i just want to measure the projection on the floor so if i want to do that i don't want to look at the z-axis i'm not interested in it so i i i un i i i what unpush this is not real english right so i i'm not using z just x y <clears throat> and i can see here only the projection here on the floor and it only it tells you that is is using x y to measure this okay and you can even go further and do things like this and like orthogonal and z okay this kind of things you can also do uh, i'm going to <coughs> remove it uh, from now on. i'm going to measure to x y z okay so interesting <coughs> the other thing you may want to do is uh, i don't know measure the angle here so you've got uh, an ability to do this um, add a new angle measure select three vertices second is angle vertex okay so i go into vertices and i say okay this is one two is the angle three S click on angle and i've got an angle here i want another color like i don't know reddish or purplish and um okay and if i obviously move uh, all this is going to okay change in, in in real time okay okay i've got my angle um i can do something else for example if i want to paint <coughs> this wall um if i want to paint these two walls here this one and this one um i want to know the area and, and it's doing it right like it's 10 zero seven mirrors for for the two walls here and i can change also the um, the color i can change the alpha if you want something much more lighter <coughs> sorry you can also do it do it so a lot of options which are available there are also the ability to select vertices um so go back into edition uh vertices uh like this one for example and uh, you could ask to know the distance to origin this little dot is the origin you can also do that so x y z 
distance of this vertices to origin is something you can also do. If you don't want to do it, you can remove, remove, remove. All this is uh, feasible. Okay. I like to show you also the angle uh, ability. So for that, I'm going back into um, object mode and I'm going to move this on the side and I'm going to uh, add um, uh, cylinder with a rotation uh, long axe x for 90. Uh, move it a little this way <coughs> and have a look here. So <coughs> let's say I'd like to uh, measure the angle from here to here. Okay. If I look at the tooltip, it tell me the arc. Sorry, it tells me um, select three vertices of the arc. Uh, vertices one and three are the extremes. Okay. So one, two, uh, three. I'm going to measure this arc. So it's more than an angle because we're going to measure <coughs> many things in the arc, three parameters. So we push an arc. Uh, I'm going to go for another color. And I can see also, uh, I definitely want to go into configuration because I, I want more distance here. Whoa. OK. Um, this is the length of the arc. This is the angle. And this is the, the radius. And you can all customize all this. You can display or not your radius, your length, or your angles, and you can change here the labels. For example, if you use Greek letters, you can do that for geometrical uh, problems, <clears throat> and so on. So a lot of uh, customization possibilities here. Another thing you could do is um, measure the uh, vertices to the origin of the scene. So uh, let's say that I move this a little further away. Go back into edition and I select a vertice and I like to know the distance to the origin. That's something you can do with the origin here. But in order to do that, you need to select first your vertice, then go back to uh, object mode, then click on origin. And then you've got it. I'm going to change color to uh, yellow. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to try to do the same thing for uh, this one. I'm going to use this and um, I uh, go back to uh, object mode and I'm going to look for distance origin and uh, I go back to my to yellow. Okay. <clears throat> so what, how this could be useful? Uh, one thing I could imagine is doing some kind of physics experiments and follow uh, the distances uh, of the objects um, in, um, in, in time. So what I can do, what I'm going to do is I, I'll take this object and I take this object and I'm going to uh, add another object at this center, uh, which is going to be a plane um, that I'm going to scale quickly and um, I'm going to add uh, physics on it. So I'm going to the physics pa pane here and <clears throat> I'm going for rigid body. Uh, I select the plane and I want it to be passive because I don't want it to fall. But I want to do rigid body for this one, and I want it to be active, and I want to do rigid body for this one, and I want it to be active. Um, now, if I uh, click on play, I can see that I can follow the distance here. So I could imagine doing maybe some uh, like um, mechanic uh, exp uh, simulations and then follow in the some of the parameters and measuring some distance or an angles or things like that. In, in kind of real time in, in the experiment. So that could be pretty cool. Um, so that's about it. The only things we can now uh, see is the rendering option quickly. Um, I don't know much really yet about it. I need still need to actually uh, um, play with it. But if I go back here, if I look at my camera, and if, uh, can I move? No, okay. I need to attach my camera here. Uh, so going for um, a lock camera to view. <coughs> okay. So if I want to take a, a picture, what I would do is I would uh, render, uh, click render, and it says Ima new image created uh, open in UV image editor. So if I go back in UV image editor, uh, UV image editor, and if I look at my uh, pictures available here, uh, pictures available here, I can see that. Oh, not what I want to do. Uh, this. Okay. 
okay, I can see the <clears throat> the rendering with the with the measures uh, which has been done, and I can save the pictures and and, and use it in into uh, anything. Okay, um, it's got um, kind of tutorials. Um, um, so Blender measure it um, here. So you can have more information here about what it's doing. It is not using voice, um, but uh, it shows the different uh, abilities of the of this stuff uh, videos. Um, for example, if you want to create something like a blueprint, you can also do it uh, uh, with this tool by by. It tells you how to well. It shows you quickly how to how to do this kind of stuff, which is very very useful. So really cool. I'm um, really happy to uh, to uh, to use that. And thanks to him for for developing this. And I hope this is useful to anybody. Bye.